This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See, I'm thinking, see, I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell y'all every day, the day they release us is false. Money gives the false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the German banking, I guess the oversight department, you know what they released? And Jay Dauntless gave me this information, and, and I think it's very, very important information. There's a list of 12 banks whose credit the full swap information has totally disappeared. So we have no idea what they're paying for credit the full swaps. And you might say, why would that matter? You know why that matters? The credit the full swap gives us an idea of how, in my opinion, my opinion, how unstable the bank is, how high the likelihood of bankruptcy or failure the bank has. So the higher your credit default swap, the less confidence people have in the bank because it's more expensive. It's becoming more expensive, you know, to hold your positions. It's getting more expensive. And, and let me tell you something. For 12 banks... Credit for credit default swap information to disappear. And this is just my opinion. More than likely, it's because that information will be very, very harmful to the banks. Because if their credit default swap was really, really small, they would advertise it. Maybe it's a glitch, and we know that, that since AMC started, there's been glitches and glitches and glitches. So maybe there's a glitch in the in the credit default swap, the, the credit default swap data. Maybe there's a glitch. But I believe they're just hiding the data on purpose because that's what they do. Now let me give you an example. Credit Suisse, credit default swap is 244. Deutsche Bank or Deutsche Bank, you know what I mean, is 201. Citigroup is only 124. So that tells me, and this is just my opinion, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Deutsche Bank, Credit Suisse, Citibank, that's not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is based on the credit default swap of Credit Suisse at 244, Deutsche Bank at 201, and Citigroup at 124. It tells me that a lot of people are losing confidence in Deutsche Bank ability to be a bank. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that these banks credit the full swap information that has magically disappeared? Is it a glitch or was it perfectly done so we don't know how bad the banks are doing? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.